everybody welcome back to my channel so today i have probably one of my most requested videos i feel like it's always one of my most requested videos it's my handbag collection so i'm gonna get straight into it show you all of my bags i have a few that are in storage i will link them in the info box below like talk about which ones have gone into storage from my previous videos and i will leave previous videos below if you want to go and watch those as well i'm also going to be doing a little q a lots of you have asked me questions on insta stories side note if you want to see more fashion content from me definitely follow me on instagram i will put my instagram here and in the info box below for you guys but you guys asked me so many questions loads and loads of really good ones so i'm really excited to get stuck into that so this might be a slightly long video if you want to just see the bags then watch the first half if you want to know more about the bags how i prevent scratching like saving money points bits like that i can't remember what all of the questions are about but there are some really really great ones in there then watch the whole way through i think i'm going to take you through my most worn to least worn and then explain why because i feel like that would be really beneficial for you guys my most worn is the one that is actually currently by my feet lots of you guys will know if you are long-term viewers i love a Givenchy Antigona. if you look at my most popular videos the ones about the Givenchy Antigonas are actually some of my most watched they're my absolute favorite style of bag this one is probably i would say my most used of the past three i think i've had it for three years maybe longer i've moved twice since i've had this bag that's how long i've had it this is the small size in the shiny leather not grained and lots of people think that this would be the medium size it looks quite big on me but i am five foot two so bags tend to look a little bit more oversized on me than other people but this bag is my favorite for work for daily wear like if i need to go to the gym and i'm like doing other things and going other places as well i would just throw all my stuff in this because it kind of has that sports luxe vibe so it works with like my gym outfits it fits a water bottle in it like my big kind of tin water bottle it fits so much stuff in it it fits the 11 inch i'm going to be very specific on this because lots of people think i'm talking about just like a general laptop the 11 inch macbooks apple macbooks fits one of those in it so it fits like that literally the perfect size for fitting it in it just about fits in you do have to make sure the sides aren't like too squished in when you're putting the laptop in like you have to really relax the bag so that it's not you're not pulling the handles too much like that because it's going to shorten the bag and the laptop will struggle to get in but it does fit it's in there somewhere so yeah, for that reason this is one of my most used if not my most used bag because it is so practical so i can take a laptop when i need one for work fit a ton of cameras in here keys makeup it also has just held up so well like i think it's got a little bit of like chocolate button on it so let's ignore that but in terms of scratching it's doing so well for how much i've used it i've taken this on like you know spontaneous nights out which gives me a hernia thinking about it but yeah it's done so so well because i just know people that their bags get bashed about and i don't even know how but i don't think it's a conscious thing like i don't baby my bags like i said this has come on a spontaneous night out like i'm not precious about them too much at all i don't think i would ever not have this in my collection especially because it's such a classic color lots of you know i've owned this in pebble gray that was my first from antigona which is still loved by many of you my mum has that now and this one is one that i just don't tire of because it is obviously such a classic color which is one of my biggest learnings about designer bags but anyway i've talked for seven minutes about a Givenchy Antigona, so i'm gonna stop next most worn Ooh, this one I would say for the past year this bag has been my next most worn this is a fendi camera bag and as you can see it's kind of like a little bit sinking in it's very very loved this bag <laughs> i use it a lot like if i'm running to the gym and i just want to throw like keys purse blah, blah blah i know by the way those people are gonna have a go at me for taking this bag to the gym but it goes straight into a locker it's fine and i don't own a gym bag because i don't really see the point in that i spend a lot of money on my bags and i don't want to spend money on another bag unnecessarily that i won't love whereas i love these so yeah anyway always has a padlock i have like one of these in basically every bag it fits a really good amount in it i can get two phones vlogging camera keys card holder basically all my daily essentials in this bag and because it is more of a soft supple kind of material and structure you can kind of wedge a little bit more in which we don't do 
And in terms of price point as well, it is not the cheapest camera bag in the world, but it's also very affordable for Fendi, which is normally one of the higher price points in terms of designer bags. Their bags just cost so much money. If you want like a decent, like fits everything in handbag, they cost so much money. Whereas this camera bag, I think was around 800 or 900 pounds. So not so bad, but also not as affordable as the Gucci Disco bag, that thing. And not as affordable as YSL camera bags either, I believe. So it costs a little bit more, but I really love the design of it. I like the kind of monogramming on it because I am a basic bitch and I love a little bit of monogramming. I've become a very big lover of neutral bags over the past year so you will notice that a lot of these are neutral and a lot of the ones that I've put in storage, not all of them but a lot of ones that I've put in storage are coloured. Basically regret buying pastel coloured bags so much <laughs> because it was a trend. It was a trend. Anyway, second most worn bag, I would say over the past year, but I've got a few more recent ones, which I'm gonna talk you through now, which are definitely my most worn of this year. Actually scratch that, I would say this is also one of my most worn bags of the past year as well. This is a velvet, velvet? Yeah, velvet quilted Prada backpack. I love this. This reminds me of the style of bags my mum used to have like when I was a kid and there's just something so classic. I'm really really special about it. Like I adore this. This has been very well loved. The velvet on it is a little bit kind of worn on top. I have been caught in the rain with this sadly sometimes. You know you live in the UK you just don't know when it's going to start raining. Like sometimes it says sunny and it's not so it can't be helped. I do if it does start raining and I have a bag like this on I will generally take my jacket off, put this over my shoulder, put the jacket back on so that I look weird but my bag is actually safe from the rain but it fits so much in it it's a great one for again if i need like a water bottle this is also one of the bags that houses one of my gym padlocks it fits so much in it it's got these nice little pockets at the front which are great for change also for great for headphones it keeps my headphones separate to everything else and yeah it just fits so much is literally the cutest bag in the world <laughs> You can't see, I'm gonna stand on a stool. Literally, cutest bag in the world. Yes, I am in pyjamas on my bum hut. It's a working from home day. <laughs> just love it so much. I will never get rid of it ever, ever, ever. It's just a real classic. And because it is a little bit vintage -y slash retro to me already, I feel like it won't feel out of fashion because it's kind of already been and done the rounds already once. So most worn of the year this year that aren't those ones, I would say would have to be my classic flap Chanel jumbo. I love this this was just one of my most like oh we finally got there purchases in hindsight one thing that i would say is and someone asked me this on instagram this morning actually if i could go back in time i might consider buying this pre-loved instead of brand new because i do think there are so many really great quality like not you know, two worn, great pre-loved bags, especially like on Bestiaire, I see really good quality ones. And that is definitely something that I am looking to do in the future. I have my eye on a couple of things at the moment on there. But that being said, the day that I went in to get this, I got it from Chanel Rue Cambon. I bought both of my Chanel's from there and it just always feels so special because it's like the original store and you get the white bag and it just feels really extra special. The staff in there are so lovely. I basically went in there, I was like, I would like to see all the black bags, please. <laughs> and kind of knew I wanted this one, but I could be swayed by a backpack to be honest, but love this so much. I went for the jumbo instead of the, I can't remember what the regular size is called. I know there's a name for it. I tried on my friend Lorna's back when we were in Paris. God, so long ago now. Feels, I think it was like over a year ago. It was beautiful, but it just felt too small on me. And I just didn't feel like I'd get the wear out of it, especially when I have a Chanel Boy bag. It's quite small already and it wouldn't fit too much more than what that bag fits, if I'm honest. So I thought this would be the better option. And even though it was more expensive, I 100% stand by my decision because this is so great. It fits everything I need it to fit in for like a daily bag with a little bit of room. I have a small book. I can normally fit a small book in here, camera, phones, keys, card holder, makeup, that kind of stuff. I don't take a full makeup bag, just for full disclosure, before people take makeup as like the entire face. But it does fit a really good amount, so it's a really lovely one for if I'm going up to London for meetings and I just want a little bit more than just, you know, cameras, phone, keys, card holder, that kind of thing. Yeah, and it's so special. Yes, it does scratch more easily than basically any other bag I own. And for me with long nails, it's a hazard, I'm not gonna lie. I have a little scratch there and one here. And that's what we're working with so far. So, so far, so good, not too much going on. 
thank god if you are very precious about scratching which you are fully within your right to be very precious about because it costs so much money i would definitely recommend going for the grainy leather i just choose not to because personally for me i don't like the look of it i love how like luxurious the smooth leather looks so yeah that was just my personal choice i am very careful with this one because of that it's probably the only one that i'm a little bit more careful with i would say i went for the silver hardware on this instead of like the antique gold or gold the regular gold and have absolutely no regrets on that i just think it casuals it down a little bit more which for me was really important and this looks amazing with my leather biker jackets which all have silver hardware and just matches perfectly and i just think suits me a lot better that being said i have been loving like an antique gold vibe a lot more recently and if i got another one which would be highly excessive but if i were to get another one i would probably get an antique gold effect maybe with a white color i think that would be really pretty but that is not happening because that that's money that's some serious money my next most worn of the year i would say would have to be this one this is a little mini baby balenciaga bag i can't remember what these are called but i will link it in the info box for you guys it is literally the cutest bag in the world lots of people ask what this can fit in keys phone vlogging camera card holder i bought this more as an evening bag so to be honest i'm not looking to fit everything and the kitchen sink in this bag this is more just like when i need my essentials on a night out and this has served me really really well over the summer for so many different events been great for weddings it's a really nice alternative to a very feminine clutch and things like that and especially with weddings the kind of attire that you would wear is usually very floral pastel feminine that kind of vibe so it's really nice to have this to pair with things that are very very girly to almost like give it a little bit more of an edge so yeah i absolutely love it it's just also been great on a daily basis over the summer i'm interested to see how much more i wear it over the winter but i'm sure i will the color is just very very classic and fits with my winter wardrobe really well so i don't see me keeping this as a summer specific bag but it's definitely served me so so well so far this year and i absolutely love it it's just the cutest bag ever never owned one of the mini Givenchy antagonas before i never really felt like it was necessary i have my black one and the size of it is great it fits so much and i've never been interested in having like a smaller size if i'm honest but i saw this and i couldn't really pass it up so at the moment we are obviously in the era of Givenchy where they are doing a lot of croc Ariana Grande is currently the face of Givenchy which is definitely one of my like my favorite things because it's one of my favorite designers and one of my favorite artists like colliding which is awesome and i just think it's a really interesting era for them they're bringing out a lot of new style bags lots and lots of croc which i love a croc effect just absolutely love it so i'm not gonna lie because of those things i was very interested to own a piece of their collection from this point in time i really like when brands have a certain designer or are going through a certain period of time that i'm particularly interested in that i particularly love i love owning a little piece of that it's kind of like a little bit of history i'm getting really deep here so that was definitely like playing on my mind and i was looking at lots of different Givenchy bags especially like the little mini croc ones are all so cute and then i saw this so it's my favorite style bag in a finish that i am just completely in love with gold hardware so you know we've made a made a slightly different move there but i just felt absolutely head over heels in love with this i was very aware that buying a mini version i might have had some issues in terms of how much it fits but i'm actually really impressed so i can fit like a smaller water bottle in here i can fit phones cameras keys it's very similar to my chanel jumbo if i'm being honest in terms of the types of things that it fits it's shorter but like taller so it tends to fit around the same amount but doesn't fit like a laptop and things like that and i can't just throw like a bit of everything in it which is how i feel I can behave with my Givenchy Antigona. So yeah, it's a great one. It's beautiful. I love it. I have no regrets over buying it. Weirdly, I thought that I would end up wearing my Givenchy Antigona in the bigger size, way less, because I would obviously favor the newer one over the other. But if I'm honest, I balance them out very, very well over the course of like weeks to months. It's been very loved since I bought it in August. If you would like to see the kind of stuff that fits in it, I will link my IGTV that I did on this when I unboxed it in the info box below because in addition to it being an unboxing it is also like a what fits in this bag type video which is great so yeah love it I'm gonna talk you through my most recent purchase next and then I'll take you through the bags that are in this cupboard but that I don't wear as much and there are reasons for that whether it's just because they're a very certain type of bag or just because I'm not loving them so much so I'll talk to you about those in a sec. This is my new baby you will have seen this if you've been watching Vlogtober. I bought this in Bista Village when I was shopping with Victoria from In The Fro. We literally had the best time it was so great. This is an antiqued gold 
vibe and I really love it. It just suits this bag so well. It makes it look really special. I think because it is a very simple style of bag, I think the handle just helps to really make it very special. So you can hold it like that, like this, just like this. I kind of hold it like that sometimes. And you can buy a longer Dior strap to go over the top. Not something I think I will do, but never say never, because if I had a couple of Dior bags that had that kind of longer strap option, it would be great to move between them. But not something I see myself doing right now, to be honest. But this is a great bag in terms of how much it fits. It's slim, but quite tall, and it's quite slouchy on the inside, so it can fit a decent amount. Fits, again, the whole card holder, keys, two phones. Might be able to get a camera in there as well. I can't try that right now, because it's in use but yeah i really love this bag i think this one will get a similar amount of use to the balenciaga just on that. in terms of its coloring and size i think it would fit a little bit more so it'd be that kind of bag where if i just wanted to fit a tiny bit more but for a similar type of event i think i would use this one and i also just really love this as like a general evening bag it's like a nice neutral evening bag and a better option for if i do want something slightly more feminine or slightly more minimal i would say so yeah i just think it's a really great our bag and i love it a lot looking forward to next year's bag collection when i update you on just how much i've been wearing this i think that'll be really interesting to look back and see whether i'm still using a lot of the same bags by the way if you want full reviews on these let me know i'm thinking that igtv might actually be quite a good place for that type of content purely because they are shorter videos and i don't have too much to say about all of the bags and i'd rather make it more matter of fact and to the point than super super long and chatty a bit like this video so let me know if that's something you would like to see those videos just won't go into sub boxes on youtube because they're too short they don't hit the requirements to be pushed out into sub boxes so yeah let me know if that's something you would like to see but next we have the saint laurent reeve gauche tote bag i own two tote bags one is actually up there i need to get that down in a second that's not been worn so much this year these types of bags are my go-to travel bags they are perfect for hand luggage on a plane this one i love because it's actually taller than my older prada one which some of you will remember it fits so much in it so in addition to just using this as a hand luggage bag i actually use this very very regularly like on a daily to weekly basis if i am staying away from home it is just my go-to bag it fits my 15 inch macbook in it so so easily and fits a ton of other stuff it's great for if i'm doing shoots and i want to take an outfit or two with me it's just the perfect everything including the kitchen sink bag i really fucking love it it's a canvas material so it wears really well have never been caught in the rain with this actually so i don't know how it would hold up against like wet weather i don't think it would be like appropriate for everyday wear in terms of like walking home from work getting caught in the rain but i do think in terms of like a big everything tote bag it's a great option it seems to be really hard wearing despite the color there's like no marking on it from like darker colors or anything like that so i'm really really impressed with it well worth the money and i feel like i'll just keep that one forever in addition to i literally have to have steps this one's a bit dusty because she hasn't been used in a while but this is also a great like overnight bag and an amazing hand luggage bag so this is my prada kind of travel tote i don't remember what this one is called but it's a great bag the only reason i don't love it is because it's shorter so if i'm carrying a laptop with me for example you can see my laptop poking out over the top which i don't love because it's not ideal i don't want to be screaming at everyone that i have a laptop when i'm walking down the street this one does pop out so it kind of goes into like i always think it looks like a boat you know when you make a paper boat i always think it looks like that when you do that so it pops out has little buttons so it fastens back in like that i prefer to have it square if i can it's stripy on the inside really cute just very very classic like i just love my saint laurent one a bit more but just because it fits that little bit more in it and it's a little bit less open because it kind of draws to a close at the top and just feels like everything in it is a lot safer and a lot more hidden so the saint laurent is my kind of hand luggage bag of choice but the prada one is just still great and i still love it and i still will get use out of it i know i will still use it but this year the saint laurent one definitely got more wear the prada one has still been worn but just not as much whilst we're talking saint laurent i also have this little bag which I love it's very very handy for when you need to have something like quite close to you and you don't want to take too much out it's literally like a phone card holder keys situation literally just about fits my phone in it literally just about so it does fit all the very little essentials in it it's also got a little pocket on the back which is great for holding little bits like change it's a great like chic 
festival bag i took this to coachella with me and it was super super handy i really really rate it i do think it's very expensive for the size of it and also as it's a bum bag i feel like most people will kind of shy away from this as you don't always want to wear a bum bag however i got a lot of use out of this in the summer as a throw-on bag but just like throwing it over my shoulder just throwing it over my shoulder like that i also wore it across like this a lot of the time when i was wearing this just because having it around my waist is great but if it needs to be threaded through like belt loops and stuff like that it can be very frustrating when you need to pee or if you just have an actual belt that you want to wear so i did find a lot of the time i wasn't wearing it as an actual belt bag but i was more using it as a little crossbody but i like the fact that it has the option to do both it's very classic really cute design i love the all black design of it it's just very very minimal i'm not wearing it as much at the moment but it's definitely one of those ones that will just crop up time and time again next i'm gonna go with one that <sighs> i don't know if i regret buying this so much because i look at it and i'm like this is a beautiful beautiful bag again croc I fucking love croc however I don't get the wear out of this like I do my other bags and I have to say the one recurring theme in my bag what do I want to call this <laughs> my bag collection is the fact that Chloe bags just don't stand the test of time in my bag collection so once again we have a Chloe bag that I'm kind of not super super in love with and I think it's because their bags become such trend bags I don't know why because there's so many designers whose bags have the possibility to do that but the Chloe bags really run quite high in terms of like trend bags it is a lovely neutral color it is very classic i don't see myself not wearing this ever again i'm definitely not wearing it right now however i do think that the kind of neutral dark tone on it that very very dark brown mixed with the tan strap does make it an amazing summer winter all year round bag so i'm interested to see how i wear this during the winter i got a bit of wear out of it over the summer but not as much as i really thought i would so i'm gonna see how i go with this one it doesn't have the most give to it in terms of fitting things in i do like the double strap on it i always think that that's really really handy works beautifully with like a white summer dress really really beautifully and i think this would look gorgeous with my nude in the style trench during the summer but i think it is mainly how structured it is and how little it really fits in that is a bit of a killer and i don't seem to gravitate to it the way i gravitate towards lots of my other bags that fit the same amount of things in it so yeah i'm gonna see how i go with this but this is definitely i'd say my least worn of the year however that being said the next bag that i'm about to show you was the least worn for the first year that i bought it and it's now one of my most favorite across the past three years i would say it's one of my most worn bags it's not been my most worn of this year but it has been a most worn so this is why i don't tend to be too harsh with clearing out my bags i put things into storage i see if i fancy coming back to them and i think that's important to do with all of your clothes because you can just suddenly start loving something and that really was the case for the next bag this is the balenciaga city i have this in the suede with the gold hardware the slouchy fit of this bag is just my absolute favorite thing about it it is just so perfect i actually gravitate to this more during the summer months i think because the suede material is just not practical for the winter that's probably why but during the summer i just love this so much i love the slouchy feel of it it just fits really well in my wardrobe over the summer i love it so much and again it's got a top handle and a little like carry handle i tend to use the top handle more which is probably one of the few bags that i do that with but it's just super cute it's a shorter long handle so it fits like right underneath your arm it feels very like secure i like having bags that fit around here it's a very 90s vibe but i really like it and it's very cute feels very safe this also has fastening along the top as well so all of my belongings are just very very safe in it it has a little pocket on the front it comes with a mirror in my opinion i feel like i've said this in every bag video but in my opinion all bags should come with a mirror if you're paying that much for a handbag you deserve a little bit of something extra with it but yeah i love this it's holding up really well like i said i don't tend to use it as much in the winter and i think that is why it's holding up well because suede in the rain is not the one but yeah, i really love this bag it's not been my most worn of this year but last i think it was last summer or the summer before i lived in this i loved it so much and like i was saying for the first summer i bought it i think i bought it in the summer of 2000 and 16 summer of 2016 and that summer i barely wore it i just 
I feel like I actually needed time to grow into this bag. Actually, I feel like I needed time to grow out of the pastel trend, if I'm honest. And now that I have grown out of the pastel trend, it's all about the black bags. And this one is just no exception. I love it. So beautiful. I just actually don't want to come off screen because it's so pretty. Then we have two little clutch bags. These are from YSL. One of these was a gift from YSL Beauty when I was on a press trip with them. This one was my own dollar bills. This one I very rarely get use out of. This is more one that I loan out to friends. It doesn't fit a ton in it. It's like phone, card holder, keys situation. Very cute though, wears really well. Like although it's smooth leather, it doesn't scratch so much. Very, very cute, very simple, very timeless. This one is a little bit more of me, black hardware, like kind of gunmetal hardware. It's also got little stones within the hardware velvet finish it is beautiful this again doesn't fit so much it's a phone keys like a few keys not even a lot of keys phone few keys card situation it actually has card sections within it so you don't need to worry about actually taking a card holder out with you and it also comes with a long strap as well mine is inside and i don't really tend to use the long strap ever i will keep this as an actual clutch this isn't in the most warm purely because i don't go out to like fancy things and over the summer i obviously wore my kind of lighter nude colored bags a lot more but i feel like over the winter this will become a most used bag once again before i move on to the next bag i did actually just want to say that i haven't talked about pricing in this i always get asked to talk about pricing but unfortunately i do not have like an encyclopedic knowledge of how much i paid for every single bag back in the day so i'll put links to everything below because obviously prices will have changed but i will try and kind of note down in terms of the your bag because I bought that at Vista Village. I'll actually say that now. I got it for I think the retail price was one thousand two hundred pounds in Vista Village because uh, it's like Vista Village as well, like last season's stuff. And I think it retails for around the two thousand pound mark. So it was a really good saving. And then I also did get a little press discount on top of that, which brought it down to I think about nine hundred, eight hundred pounds. So apart from the gifted YSL, everything in this collection that you are seeing today is my own money aside from the duo. Full disclosure and I will try and put as much information on like Vista Village and the Chanel bags I will try and put in the info box because I know the pricing differs when you buy in Paris at Rue Cambon compared to everywhere else but this is the Chanel boy bag in the like light gold hardware smooth leather this one is very very loved has a hefty dent on the side sadly now due to a taxi driver opening my door and my bag just like went flying out and i nearly cried that was in its first like week of life with me i do always find that with designer bags like something happens within the first week and i'm just always waiting waiting it hasn't actually been the case so much over the past like year but early on with my bags or something always happened to a bag pen marking that kind of thing but yeah this one has been with me for a very long time this was my second designer bag that i ever bought i think that was around 2015 2015 early 2016 maybe i love this it's so beautiful so classic i haven't worn it so much this year but it's definitely been one of those bags that i just absolutely love wearing it's a great smart day bag doesn't fit too much in it but again two phones keys wallet that kind of thing or like vlogging camera card holder that kind of vibe i love it it's gorgeous you have the opening you pinch these end bits together and it opens really really beautiful what is on the inside of this a receipt what did i buy honest burger oh it's ryan's birthday cute and finally we have the gucci dionysus this bag you will remember this from the whole dilemma with the jean dye coming off onto the back of the bag should not have happened by the way loads of people were like yeah that happens with jeans i'm like not jeans that you've had for five years and washed like 600 times that should definitely never happen i've never had the back worked on honestly you don't see it i'm not too fussed about it i will probably wear this until it falls apart so i'm not too worried in terms of resale when i used to buy bags i always used to be thinking about the resale of them and i'd buy very strategically based on whether things were good for resale and blah 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 and whether they were a trend or not now i just kind of don't care i'm just like if i like the bag i like the bag i want to wear them until i'm old and decrepit and falling apart and the bags are also falling apart and my children are like just give me the bag i want the bag and i'm just gonna my bags basically i've talked about this bag quite a bit in the past so i'm not going to dwell on it too much i don't get the wear out of this one as much as i do my other bag it's a great summer bag but i actually feel like i do wear it quite evenly all year round whenever i want like a taupey kind of like brown bag i always dig this one out silver hardware so it's just very understated for me i just feel very very comfortable wearing it it's got the double strap 
that goes into a slightly longer strap it's not too long to be honest again fits just under my arm we can make it shorter fits right under the arm strap length for me i find is a bit awkward i think because of my height i think if you're taller this longer strap will make it fit really really nicely like under your arm but it doesn't on me i love the tough vibe of the hardware on this that's the thing that has kept this in my collection for all of these years because i just absolutely adore this and the chain it's very like tough and makes a very kind of pretty clean minimal style bag a little bit more interesting but yeah i don't see this one changing in my collection ever really i think it will just be with me until we both fall apart okay so now i'm going to get on to my questions i feel like this video is going to be very long and for that i sincerely apologize to those of you who are bored out of your minds but for those of you that like a long chatty video i am happy to facilitate for you today so first question is do you get your designer bags all new or have you ever bought one vintage used from bestia etc not something that i've done yet i believe however it's something that i am constantly looking on bestia for there's certain styles that i would just absolutely love and i don't see the point in buying them new and i think that is the way i'm going to go with a lot of bag purchases going forward there's a lot of styles that i want that are very classic styles and people do kind of buy them and sell them on and i'm like if it's there for sale then i don't see the point in not and especially i was talking to the team at bestia the other day and they were saying that beginning of september so many of these Saint Laurent reeve gauches were kind of uploaded onto vestia for sale so i definitely think like treat it a bit like mr village if you want to try and get some like last season bits for a little bit cheaper and they've maybe been worn once or twice i do think vestia is such a great place for that and for me in terms of like bags like louis vuitton and pieces that are harder to get hold of i definitely love it for that because i can put on like a little search alert and things like that and i just think that's really handy i think if you're looking for a very specific color hardware and specific price point like you want a really good deal it's kind of hard to get all three you can usually get color and price point but not hardware sometimes you'll get all three but you do have it's a very big waiting game i would say what you need to know straight up is how much you're willing to pay for the bag how much the bag realistically is like currently retailing for how much it generally retails for pre-loved really do your research and make sure that you are getting the deal that you want and also be realistic sorry i've just clicked off the questions be realistic in terms of the saving that you would like as well because i do think if you want a big discount off on bestia you're gonna have to get something that is well loved not just sorry this my jumper fluff is in the air you're gonna have to get something that is well loved and not just like pre-loved but in good condition if that makes sense would you still recommend your chloe backpack my chloe backpack is actually a bag that is currently in storage i'm kind of sitting on the tan one to see if it will come back into my rotation next summer i wore it a little bit this summer not the most out of all of my bags however the baby blue one the kind of tealy baby blue one I just haven't worn in such a long time and I'm kind of looking at putting that one on best years. If you could only keep one of your bags, which one would it be? I think I would have to keep the Chanel Jumbo Classic Flap because if all of my bags were to magically disappear, that one's the one I spent the most money on. So that is why I would keep it. But I would also really miss the Givenchy Antigona. But again, they're both black with the kind of silver hardware. I just think the Chanel is obviously more special and more, I don't know, just more special. So I would probably keep that one. Bag recommendations for buying your first designer piece. Based on my initial mistake is don't buy like a pastel trend color because although you might love it so much in that moment, I do think a couple of years down the line, you're not gonna love it as much. Whereas my black bags, as you can see with this video, I still love them so much and they're so timeless and just really hold that like special that sounds really stupid and i would also say if there's a bag style that you particularly want like maybe you want a chanel bag but you know you want a certain size but then the smaller size is cheaper and more affordable and you could have that there and then versus saving longer for the bigger size i would always say save for longer it gives you more time to mull over that purchase to make sure you're still happy with it you're getting exactly what you want and i just don't think you should ever kind of compromise you're already spending a lot of money anyway so don't compromise and potentially you've already spent a lot of money and not loved that as much as you would have loved the thing that you actually wanted if that makes sense where is the best place to shop for high street bags i love zara for high street bags i also think and other stories does really great high street bags as well if you could choose a perfect starter bag from your bags which one would it be 100 percent Givenchy Antigona, small size not the mini the small if you're like a student you have to carry quite a lot of like books or things or stuff like that or like uniforms then maybe the medium would actually be better however i just don't love the way the medium looks 
on me especially because i am quite little it just looks like it would swamp me however i think if you're taller you could really get away with going for the medium and it would be very practical and would be great i do think the Givenchy antagonas in general for whatever your lifestyle is there is something to suit you so yeah that would be my number one recommendation i always get this question uh with my bag collection no louis vuitton would you ever get one yes absolutely i'm just very specific over what i like from them i feel like people get really offended by the fact that i have no louis vuitton as well i think it's like hardcore fans are really like what the hell is going on here someone's asking about my YSL Lulu which I'll try and put a picture of it on screen it uh, is a very classic style bag I have mine in velvet with antique gold I don't love it I have to say it's one of my biggest bag regrets it's very special to me basically I tend to buy bags when I'm celebrating a moment or just if, if there's a good saving obviously like the Dior one that was a birthday present though I tend to buy my bags when you know there's some kind of specialness so Dior's birthday if I've achieved a milestone if something really great has happened I always have like a sentimental moment that links me and that bag I just think it's a really nice thing me justifying the cost of it in my head but the the Lulu was lovely in terms of I was like if I get through this really tough point in my life and I don't have a mental breakdown I'm gonna buy that bag and I got through it and I got the bag and I just never have really worn it it's velvet it's a very dressy style bag it's antique gold it's just a lot of things that aren't very me going on at once and as much as i loved it so much it's just not right for me can't decide what to choose dior saddle mini or big dior lady please help i would say dior lady i'm gonna say i think i've been loaned one before and it fitted more the small dior saddle bags fit nothing the larger ones fit some stuff i hear lots of people say about this one you can't even fit like an iphone big one in it i love the dior saddlebags i always like back and forth over getting one i do love them but i do think again they are a trend bag they're a trend bag that i think will come back but i think a dior lady is very like classic and quite elegant whereas the saddlebag is a more casual style of bag so for me i would go for the more classic it's my learning with buying handbags over the years i finally got to the point that everyone else was at like a few years ago where it's like classic bags are the one someone has asked regarding designer bags do you save up for them or do you use credit cards to purchase them i don't use credit cards full stop <laughs> full stop yeah so everything that i have I already have the money there for it. I'm just putting little bits of money away. People have asked me about saving money. It always is something I feel very, very awkward about because everyone's jobs are different and you know, saving tips for one person are not the, the same as saving tips for another person. But in terms of, you know, my money, I don't drink excessively. I don't smoke. I don't spend my money on a lot of things that aren't clothes, if I'm very honest. So I don't drive. I have like a decent car, but I don't drive a lot. So my outgoings aren't massive, therefore, there is more money to be spent on fashion, I guess. That is where I like to spend my money. So I don't really have too many tips in terms of saving up for money. It's always just making sure your incoming is less than your outgoings, that kind of thing. And I really do do that. So yeah, I have savings and I use that to spend on my bags. But yeah, I don't use credit cards and would never advise using a credit card to buy a bag like no bag is worth getting into debt for and i really just wanted to answer that question not on the savings part because i don't think i just get very nervous talking about money but i just personally don't ever think it's worth paying for something on credit i would just personally save up for it Ooh, talking about money makes me really nervous looking to buy my first luxury bag in 2020 any suggestions or advice one thing that i would say which i noticed very early on when i was buying designer bags i noticed this with my Givenchy antagona is that different retailers will have slightly different prices and i actually remember buying my Givenchy antagona off of a specific website it might have been selfridges I can't remember 100% but I do remember that there was another website that I was going to buy it off of and it was more expensive so just something to keep in mind look at where the bag is available what different retailers and what the price difference is then obviously take into account your like shipping and things like that because that can obviously factor in and they can come out around the same but sometimes I find there's like a good couple of hundred pounds difference between a bag and that's mad always make sure you kind of like shop around for your bag first and then also check places like vestia for pre-loved because if you can get it pre-loved and you can get a little bit of money off goals handbag maintenance how do you keep them looking so fresh over the years especially since you're so busy i've never taken mine to like a bag doctor or anything like that i know those do exist for people that have like scratches and things like that the most i've done is if there's like little bits of dirt or something like they just get like a little wet 
kind of very smooth bit of like cloth or tissue or whatever and I just very gently kind of like dab away at any like little marks and that's the way I like to work I don't like to use anything super harsh on the bags once I've kind of like got the bag a little bit wet I always do like to just kind of use a like smooth cloth lots of the bags come with cloths like I think the Chanel ones do I believe some of the YSL ones do or like a sunglasses a clean sunglasses cleaner those little bits of material just use that to kind of like buff the wet away the wet the water away so you just don't get any like watermarks or anything and that is where i'm going to leave it today i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and it wasn't like a million years long even though i've got a gut feeling that it probably was i hope you loved it and you'll join me again for next year's bag collection video if you have any other bag related questions pop them in the comments i will get back to you thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys again soon love you bye